Our first speaker today is going to be Andreas Kind. He comes from our Zurich Laboratories, and he works on a technology that you probably haven't heard too much about, crypto anchors. However, this technology is going to be critical to underpin our food, materials, and personal data safety in the next five years. So without further ado, I'm going to welcome Andreas to the stage. I brought something for you, something really heavy and something shiny, so you can see it also from the very last row. Flown in straight from Switzerland, airport security asked me, is this real? And I said, sure it is. You also might wonder if it's real, and you have good reasons to ask. From cinnamon to footwear, from headphones to boiled eggs, almost everything has been copied. The total value of counterfeit goods was estimated in 2015 to be $1.8 trillion. And it's not just the Gucci bags and polo shirts. Product piracy includes the things that are critical for health and for safety. So let's take your car. You bring it to the garage. It turns out the brakes are run down. When you get your car back, can you be sure that the new brakes are actually original? Can you be sure your car will brake on the highway as it's supposed to? In certain regions of the world, 40% of the parts in the automotive aftermarket are actually fake, 40%. A second example, in 2008, certain batches of a blood thinning drug had only 50% of the active ingredient. The rest was a counterfeit substance. 80, over 80 deaths and many injuries could actually be linked to this counterfeit substance. Drugs have been recycled after bad storage, after expiry. Drugs have been contaminated with toxins, and they have been made with weak or no active ingredients. How can we change this? The root of the problem is actually that global supply chains have become very complex with many participants across many regions in the world. The products around us have parts that are produced in one country, assembled in another, and sold in a third. Also, e-commerce has made it very easy to sell fakes. So a provenance database that would record everything that is happening with a product when it is shipped across the world might help. And we do have now technologies such as blockchain to build a trusted version of such a provenance system. And actually, in IBM, we're doing this already. We do it for food and trade documents. But this is not enough. The trust has to reach into the physical world. We need anchors to link the cryptographic entries in these provenance databases and the business processes that we defined there with the physical objects in the real world. And we actually believe we need what we call crypto anchors. We are saying in the next five years, crypto anchors will halve the number of counterfeit goods that are linked to health and safety issues. So now, I'm a computer scientist. I like to open Emacs, write some code, uh, write a program, make it bigger, rewrite it again. Eventually, it turns into a system that does something or with the world or computes something about the world we are living in. But somehow, it will always stay on the other side, in the digital world. And so do most IT systems. They live in the realm of the digital world. They take something digital, and they return something digital. But now Gucci bags and polo shirts, they exist in the real world. And so does my French colleague, Emmanuel. He's a technologist, and he has this serious look on his face when he talks about chemistry and bioscience. Together, we work on these kind of things that you see on the display. This is actually a crypto anchor embedded in the paper of a malaria test. 
the code that you see here is made of ink dots deposited on, a, on micro pillars. When serum is attached to the paper, the test is applied, is performed, but at the same time, a first code is washed away and a second initially hidden code is visible. Scanning these codes with a smartphone, a doctor can now verify that this malaria test is actually original and it has not been used before. Sometimes we actually don't need these crypto anchors to be embedded in a product. Sometimes we don't have to really add them. Sometimes they exist already. Think about a rice corn, a sheet of paper, or this gold bar. The DNA in the rice corn, the weaving in the paper, or the molding of this gold bar is highly unique and cannot be cloned. With a bit of AI, it is actually possible to recognize this uniqueness. So now you wonder, is this gold bar indeed real? Well, that's for the blockchain to know and for you to find out. Thank you very much.